Hi, I'm Dr. George Acevedo from Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm here today to present the next generation in minimally invasive insertional Achilles repair. So let's get right to it. So why change what we've been doing all this time? We want to avoid these disasters that you see. And the way we can do this is through a minimally invasive approach. This can be achieved through either a small incision or a complete percutaneous MIS technique. So here's one of my patients, a 52-year-old female who we sometimes fear these diabetics and having to deal with Achilles tendon pathology. But this patient was a year out, had failed all the typical conservative treatments of a half-inch lift, you know, stretching and whatnot. And so now we're faced with, do we do this big open approach or go to what Arthrex has developed, which is this minimally invasive approach. So basically, I'm going to go through a few technique slides just to give you the gist of it. First, you identify your superior portals and you mark them on the lateral view of the fluoroscopy. And then you mark out the distal portals. And then all of these can be used as working or viewing portals. So here you see a picture of what we actually do. We, we mark out all four portals. They're at basically the 2, 5, 7, 10 o'clock position. And then you mark out just kind of the obliquity of your cut. And uh, of course, we're using the MIS burr. I use the 4.3 millimeter burr to do the wedge resection in the back of the heel. It's beneficial to debride the tendon arthroscopically, and you can use a nanoscope, you can use the arthroscope, or again, a small incision works just fine as well. When you are prepping, drill and tap the distal anchor tunnels first, then move to your proximal portal incisions. So what makes it different is that you're passing not only the fiber tape sutures that we used in the open technique, but we have a knotless suture ripstop technique, which is incredible, the amount of strength it gives and prevents the fiber tape from ripping through your repaired tendon. So once you've accomplished that, the rest of the procedure is basically like you do in a speed bridge, and you're passing the sutures to the distal portals, and then you get an x-ray that looks very much like what we perform with an open view. So your final check ensures that all the excess bone has been removed and that the tendon is secured to the bone. And you could check this either fluoroscopically or through the scope. And here's just kind of a picture of what it looks like. And you can see I've not left any debris back there. And this is what's kind of cool is, you know, the incisions you make are so small that even in this diabetic patient at 12 weeks post-op, you can see the incredible healing you get. Speaking about the post-op, the patient is placed in a short leg splint for two weeks. At the two-week post-op visit, sutures are removed, and then the patient's allowed to weight bear as tolerated in a CAM boot. Therapy's begun once wounds are stable, which is usually around the four-week mark. The patient can usually transition to a shoe with a little bit of a lift at about six to eight weeks, and then full sports activity is usually allowed around three months, depending on the patient level of comfort. So what's the value of this technique? and the difference between this and an open procedure? Well, this technique has many advantages. First of all, like with most MIS techniques, the morbidity of the soft tissues is significantly decreased and thus don't have to worry about all the complications we usually worry about. Postoperatively, the recovery is significantly faster. That's what we're seeing in these patients. It's less stiffness, less postoperative pain, and this is mainly due to the fact that we have 25% less material on the back of the calcaneus with the new 2.6 knotless fiber tack and 3.9 swivel lock anchors. We're going to get improved cosmesis. And once you master this technique, the operative time is significantly decreased. This technique takes me under 30 minutes now. This has truly been a game changer for my practice and my patients. Thank you very much.